Hello and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you how to access your students' placement test results. So after they've completed the placement test, where you're going to go and access their results and what you can do with them. So I've clicked here on student management, this yellow tab here, and I can see all the students that I have registered on my account on off to class. And I'm going to click on Jose because I know that Jose recently completed the placement test result, but sorry, the placement test, and I was notified by email when he completed the, the test. So this is Jose's learning profile on off to class. And I'm going to give you a tour of the learning profiles in a later video. But for now, I just want to show you that at the top of Jose's lesson history table, you've got his placement test results. And I can open them up by clicking here. And now I'm in Jose's results. So on the right side here, I can see his proficiency level. So his grammar proficiency level is a C1. And this is using the CEFR, or the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages. And we provide you with the rubric here so you can understand what a C1 equates to. And under, you can see that we tell you whether the listening proficiency, if your students sat the listening portion of the exam, whether your students' listening proficiency results either support or do not support the grammar proficiency level. We provide you the same information for the reading proficiency. And then for writing and speaking, we actually don't mark the writing and speaking sections. We provide you with an example of the candidate's work. I'm going to show you that so that you can determine your own assessment of the writing and speaking proficiency. So here in the middle section, I've got this gap analysis. So on the grammar assessment, every time my student answered a question wrong or answered I don't know to it, we show you the question, what the student put and what the right answer is, and the lesson from our library that you can use to, assess, to address that deficiency. And you can click these links directly to actually open up the lesson from our library and start teaching right off of this. The, next, the first lesson you have with Jose, you could teach this first lesson here. We also take these lessons from the gap analysis and we populate your student's profile with a learning plan with all these different lessons in it. So I'm just going to come back to Jose's learning profile and show you down here you've got two tabs, the lesson history and the learning plan. When I click on the learning plan, these are all the lessons from the gap analysis from the student's most recent placement test results, and we populate them here in your learning plan. Now, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to customize the learning plan and get the most out of the learning plan. But for now, I just wanted to show you that we take the results of the gap analysis, the lessons in the gap analysis, and we put them in the student's learning plan. So under the gap analysis, we've got the, um, the results that your student provided for the listening and reading. And then, as I was saying, for writing and speaking, we don't grade the results, but we do provide you with the question that we asked your student and for writing, an example of the student's writing, so you can form your own assessment. And for speaking, we actually have the recording of your student speaking their, or saying their answer to this question. So you can use the writing and the speaking example down here as the teacher to form your own assessment of their writing and speaking ability. Now, if you want to give access to your student um, to their placement test results, you have three options here. One of them is you can press this unlock button. And what happens is once you press this unlock button, on your student side of off to class, they'll have a link in the bottom left corner where they can actually open up their results and they can view their results in off to class. You could also print a PDF copy of the placement test results. 
Now, this print function is reserved for um, teachers on off the class that have subscribed for one of our professional packages. And I'm going to talk about that later um, in a later video. But for now, just know that you can print a copy of your results on a professional package. And in addition, on a professional package, you can actually print a certificate of the result. Um, you could actually print a certificate for your student in PDF again, saying what day they took the placement test and what CFR level they came up with as a, um, as a tool to kind of um, provide for the student and encourage them um, to keep learning with you on off to class. That's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video.